At age 19, Augustine read a dialogue by the Roman philosopher Cicero, in which he stated that every person sets out to be happy, but the majority are thoroughly wretched. Truly, no one dreams as a child of one day growing up to be miserable, and yet many people's lives are characterized by conflict, frustration, and unfulfilled longings. Augustine set out to discover why it is that most people are so discontent in life, and he, as a result, led a life of debauchery. After his conversion, he came to this conclusion. For most of us, we are not happy because our lives are out of order. We have disordered loves. Sin, Augustine said, is ultimately a lack of love, either for God or for your neighbor. He famously stated that the essence of sin is disordered love. Disordered love means that we often love less important things more and more important things less than we ought to. It is not necessarily that we love wrong things, but it is that we often love the right things in the wrong order. The wrong prioritization leads to unhappiness and disorder in our lives. As Keller would put it, idolatry is when we make good things become ultimate things. And yet, disordered love can only be corrected when we understand the love of God. God is love. Thus, 1 John ends with this. Friends, as we come to the end of this series, John points out the issue of idolatry and the solution to it. It is what this book is about. God is love. Knowing that we are beloved of God, we belong to Him. That is the greatest hope in life and death. Come, beloved of God, walk in the light. Walk in love. Walk in our identity as a child of God so that we would not love the right things in the wrong order. 1 John 5, Little children, guard yourselves from idols. Amen.